Hey guys, so have you ever wanted to buy or sell certain coins based on someone's tweets? For example, I don't know if you were around the last cycle, but every time Elon would tweet about Doge, it would rocket like five to 10% instantly. So I know some of y'all were thinking, if only I could buy immediately every time he tweeted about it and then sell a little bit higher, right? It'd be like pretty much guaranteed profits. Well, the problem is that is a huge hassle to do in a manual manner, right? You have to literally sit by your computer and be ready to hit that bite button every time he tweets about Doge. But there is a better way though, and that is to do this in an automated manner using bots. For example, Three Commas has a new and improved Signal bot that can do just this. So in this sponsored video, I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to set something like this up so you can not only listen to Elon's tweets, but let's say there's some other person or influencer, whatever, some other account you can listen to and you can get it to buy and sell coins based on what you hear. So stick around, this is how you do it. All right, so it's actually quite simple to set up such a bot and we're essentially going to follow these tutorials that you can find on three commas websites, but I'm going to walk you through step by step to make it easier. Um, you can watch this video and just follow what I do. So first and foremost, you need a subscription to three commas. They're quite affordable. If you want a free trial and up to 50% off your first subscription, then you can use my link below. But once you have that, you go here on the left to SignalBot. As you can see, I already have one running. I already tested it out and it actually works. So yeah, but I'm gonna show you how to set up a new one from scratch. You go on the right side, click on custom signal, click on this webhook URL to copy it and just paste it in like a doc for a sec and click I have set webhook URL. Okay, so even before that, you have to connect your exchanges. I have my Binance and my Kraken. I'm gonna use my Binance and use long for this case and I'm going to Add the Doge USDT pair, done, one pair. Max investment. This is like the max amount that the bot could possibly use. And so I'm just gonna do 612 because that's how much USDT I have on this particular Binance spot balance. And then you can name it Elon Doge Tweet Bot 2. I'm just gonna call it that and then click next. Okay, and then now we have this entry order. Okay, first and foremost, we wanna change this. We have 612. Let's say I'm gonna buy 20 USDT worth every time Elon tweets about Doge. So you just change that here, or you could do more or less, whatever you want, and then copy this kind of JSON webhook message. Okay, you wanna copy this. We're gonna to have to change a few things here, but I'm gonna tell you about that later. But copy this and put it in your doc, and then click done and then click next. Take profit, stop loss, a little more complicated, so I'm not gonna do those. Activate bot after creation, and then have it switched on by default, that's good. Create. Okay, done, here we are. Here it is, but nothing has happened yet, okay? So now, the next step is to go into an automation service, such as if this, then that. IFTTT. Just to show you, I already have these created. Um, I was just testing it out. And here's the thing, you can test it out. Right now we're listening to Elon's tweets, right? That's the logic behind this bot. But if you wanna test it out, you can do your own Twitter account. So you can tweet about Doge and then see if this bot works. I tested it out myself and it actually works. That's why I have this bot here, this first one that already has bought some, but yeah, you can have it listen to your own account, test it out before you switch it over or create a new one to listen to Elon's or whoever else that you're listening to, right? Anyhow, how you create one is this. Click on create. If this, search for Twitter X right here. See all the different options you have, but I want to do new tweet by a specific user. Now you have to connect your own account so that they have access to Twitter through your account, through the API. But right here, username to watch, Elon Musk. Create trigger, okay? New tweet by specific user. This is like my name, but it's listening to Elon's. Then that, you want to do 
web hooks right here, make a web request. And so what we're going to do here is take that web hook that we got down and put it there. Um, let me just go back and get it. It's just this one. Post application JSON and then put your secret here. So you just put that right here. Um, that is right here. But we want to change some things like I just remove these brackets, trigger price close, and then exchange. Remember, we're using Binance. So just Binance, all caps, and then instrument in our case is Doge USDT. Create action. Okay. And then really important, there's one step in the middle because right now they're just listening to every time Elon tweets something, this is going to trigger, but we want to filter because it's not just every time, right? We want this JavaScript code. By the way, I'm going to leave links to these tutorials so you can check it out yourself afterwards. But here you go. See the search terms. Every time he tweets about Doge or Dogecoin, this is going to pass the filter and do the webhooks theme that we just did. Let's say you're following some other influencer and every time they tweet about Solana or every time they tweet about Whiff, then you can change this to Whiff and then dog with hat or whatever, right? These search terms, you can be very flexible. Adding filter and then boom, this is pretty much completed. That was quite simple. And then you can change the if new Doge tweet by Elon Musk, then make a web request to three commas. You could name it whatever you want. Finish. And then it's connected. It's not working. And one great way to debug this is to click on view activity. So you can see every time Elon tweets something new, this is going to fire, but it's going to not pass the filter. That's why I think it's really important to test it out with your own account so you can tweet stuff and see how these activities work. Just to show you my example, my applets, this is the one I was using to test view activity. And you could see all these things were skipped. Um, but all the way at the beginning, there was one that was applet ran. See, because I was testing it out here. So that's how it works. And then back here, you can manage your bots, like you could stop it and whatnot. And if you click on signals, you can see the times that they've run in the past. This was the first bot, not the one that we just set up together, but you can see how it ran when I tweeted from my own account to test it out. So it actually works. But yeah, that's pretty much it. It's super simple to do. Just follow what I did step by step and test it out. Follow the tutorials. I hope this helped and now you can just go wild, right? You do need subscriptions for three commas and probably IFTTT as well, but you see the power in this, right? You can follow any account. If you have a thesis, like every time Ansem tweets about whiff, I wanna buy it and then sell it like 10% gains later automatically. You can do this with three commas signal bots. Let me know if you have any questions. And like I said, you can get a free trial and up to 50% off your first subscription if you use my link below.